frequency instincts. Imagine some kids playing jump rope. Imagine two of the kids are holding the one long jump rope and other kids are jumping in and out. What does it take to jump in and out? You have to read the frequency literally. Jump in, do a bunch of tricks and jump out. Now imagine all the kids are singing some kind of rhyme. Further reading and matching of frequency. All the kids humming or singing or thinking of this frequency. Jumping in and out without missing a beat. When people are having a conversation, this phrase is common without missing a beat. This is a musical term. Jump in and out of a song without messing up the complex rhythm. Everywhere you look, you'll find frequencies, musical frequencies. Even the tides are based on frequencies. They rise and fall driven by the moon. And the energy of the rising tides interacts with the shape of the coastline to create the difference between high tide and low tide. This is exactly the same as being a little kid in a bathtub. If you match the frequency of the water bathtub combination, you can create some pretty big waves. People say that too, metaphorically, don't make waves. This means to go with the flow. Another reference to frequency. Something those kids know how to do instinctively. Jump in and out of the jump rope. Get huge oscillations on the swing set or in the bathtub. When you meet somebody and you click, what does that mean? What specifically does that click refer to? Like a jigsaw puzzle piece fitting into another jigsaw puzzle piece? Or is the click referencing some kind of rhythm that you both share? Like vibing or being on the same page? Imagine that we all have a massively complex understanding of our outer world and our inner world. How we speak, the words we say, what we are reminded of when others say certain words. We can have our own frequency. Why can? Because to have our own frequency, feel it and express it, it can't be blocked. If we are filled with biases, as many people are, we won't notice certain things around us. If we are plagued by anxiety and self-doubt, as many people are, we won't notice certain things around ourselves. But if we can remove both of our self-generated blinders of both the inner and the outer world, what then? We will resonate our true selves, something that is very, very rare today. Something that is also very, very attractive to many, many people. To learn more, visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash 3x3.